Hello everyone! I'm travelling around on a very special fun bus today. This double-decker bus has been transformed into a soft play party bus. This is Paul and he's the driver of the bus. He drives to lots of different places for children's birthday parties. You can have a party anywhere! Here comes the bright yellow party bus now. Welcome aboard the party bus. There are two floors on this bus. A downstairs and an upstairs. Let's climb the stairs and take a look upstairs first. Whoa! It's so much fun up here. There's a tunnel. A rope bridge. These are called biffers and bashers. Hey, Red Mechanical, how did you get in here? Red Mechanical never misses a party. To get down, we can either go back down the stairs or we can go down the mega green slide. Go on, Red, you can test it out. Woo! When you come down the green slide, you land in a colourful ball pool. Look! Red Mechanical is holding a green ball. This is an orange ball. And here's a purple ball. The fun doesn't stop there. Downstairs, there's more places to run around and climb. Paul's getting the bus ready for a party, so it's time to connect the bus to a generator. A generator is something that uses fuel to generate electricity. That means Paul can turn the disco lights and music on in the bus. Here come the kiddies now, ready to party. Running round the play bus, everyone's very hungry, so it's time for some party food. These tables upstairs are just right for enjoying some sandwiches. Paul places yellow paper plates on the table. One, two, three, four, and again. One, two, three. Four yellow paper plates. Now Paul is placing down orange drinks. One, two, three, four. And they need red straws. One, two, three, four. Four red straws. Yum, yum. Before everyone leaves, there's one last thing to do. Give out the party bags. We can't have a party without party bags. Phew! After all that excitement, I'm ready for a lie down. Thanks very much to Paul for showing us around his fantastic double-decker party bus. Coming up next, 
I need a real ice cream truck. Hello, everyone. The sun is shining and I fancy a treat. Luckily, I'm spending the day with a very special ice cream van. This is Mr T and he drives his ice cream van all over the place to serve lucky people delicious ice cream. But it's not an ice cream van without music. So Gecko, when we're nearly there where we need to go, this is what we do to put the music on to let everybody know that we are nearly here. When Mr T arrives, he can move into the back of the van and serve beautiful ice cream straight away. Hi Gecko! Hello Mr T! So welcome to my van Gecko! And this is all the lovely treats that we put on the ice creams. We've got lots of different sweets. Look at these lovely snakes. From the back of this wonderful van, Mr T can create some amazing things. Slushies, hot waffles and of course, ice creams. So what I'm going to do now is show you how we make our magic ice cream. Get out a gallon of famous ice cream. Take the top off and then we pour it into the hopper. Ice cream is made from milk, cream, eggs and sugar. Mr T's special ice cream machine is like a super fast freezer and the liquids poured into the machine are frozen in just one minute. When things are frozen, they become harder and colder than they were before. Mr. T is more than just an ordinary ice cream man. He's always thinking of new ice cream ideas. So as well as making ice cream cones, he makes ice cream trays for people to share with lots of sweeties, sauces and treats on top. There's nothing that puts a smile on people's faces like a lovely ice cream from Mr. T. Everyone loves ice cream vans, grown-ups, children and even pirates love ice cream. Wow, this all looks delicious. Ice cream and sweeties are a treat. So remember, don't ask your mummy or daddy to have them every day. What's your favourite flavour ice cream, Mr T? And my favourite ice cream is the Bubblicious Bubblegum Tray with lots of pink and blue bottles and of course the lovely Hubba Bubba Bubblies. Mr T served lots of happy customers today. But is there one person who hasn't had an ice cream yet, Mr T? So here we are in Gecko. This one's just for you. A new creation, Gecko's Gooey Green Ice Cream. Oh, thank you, Mr T. So what do you think about that then, Gecko? Did you enjoy them ice creams? It was absolutely delicious, thank you. Here's two for your friends, the Mechanicals. Bye, guys. Thank you very much to the legend that is Mr T for showing us his amazing ice cream van today. We'll see you again soon for more Gecko's Real Vehicles. Bye! Hello everyone! I'm meeting up with my old friend Mr T and his amazing ice cream truck today. I've asked for his help to organise a surprise for one of my friends. Here he comes now! Hey Gecko. Hello Mr T. Thanks for coming. So what's the plan? Well, I think it's about time that my friend Vicky the Ice Cream Van had a treat of her own. She's always so busy serving yummy ice cream treats to other people, but I thought it was about time someone made a treat for her. 
What a lovely idea, Gecko. Let's make Vicky the biggest, best ice cream ever. Hop in. So, Gecko, we've got lots of amazing ice cream in my machine at the back. But to make it really special, I think we need to find some treats to put on top. Great idea, Mr T. Sounds like we've got ourselves a treasure hunt. Hey look, Mr T. What's that over there? I think I see a treat box. Open it, Mr T. Let's see what's inside. It's two giant bags of sweets. These are going to add lots of colour to Vicky's ice cream treat and they'll be nice and chewy too. Amazing! Let's see what else we can find. Look, Gecko, there's another treat box here. Send it down the slide, Mr T. I wonder what it is. Hooray! It's a big box of waffles. Should we get back in the van and find some more treat boxes? So, Gecko, it's time to put some music on. Let's see if my old friends at the RLI have seen anything. Oh, hi, Andy. You haven't seen any treat boxes round here, have you? As a matter of fact, they have. Have a look on deck. Hey, Gecko, I found one. Let's see what's inside. It's a huge bottle of my favourite sauce. Good job, Mr T. I wonder if there's any treasure around that pirate ship over there. Let's take a look in the treasure chest. We've found treasure. It's another treat box. Wow, it's a bag of giant marshmallows. Wow, Vicky will love them. Hey, look, we're just passing Claremont Farm. Let's pop in and see if Farmer Andy has seen any treat boxes. Hey Gecko, good to see you again. Are you looking for a treat box? Yes, we are. Go and have a look in my tractor. We found another treat box. <gasps> it's a giant chocolate bar. Wow, that's the biggest chocolate bar I've ever seen. I think that should be enough treats to make Vicky the most amazing ice cream creation. Let's go make it. To make the perfect ice cream creation for Vicky, we need the perfect ice cream cone. And I've got just the thing. That is brilliant. Let's get cracking. Mm. 
Wow, look at all that ice cream. Now it's time for some of the special blue sauce. Some sweeties are going on now. And more sweeties. And some of those soft, squidgy marshmallows. And now I think there should be something healthy in there as well. Remember them strawberries that we got from Claremont Farm? Finally, some chocolates. Hurry, Mr. T. I think she's on her way. Hello, Vicky. Lovely to see you. Me and my friend Mr. T have a big surprise for you. I decided that it's about time someone made a treat just for you after all of the amazing treats you always give to other people. So we decided to make you Vicky's treasured treat served in the perfect ice cream cone. Here you go, Vicky, just to say thank you. Did you see how happy that ice cream surprise made her, Gecko? I've never seen her so happy. That's given me an idea. Maybe we should go and give some treats to more people who deserve them. So who's ready for some free ice creams, guys? Now let's serve the amazing crew of the RNLI lifeboat. Well, guys, you lot deserve a free ice cream, so there you go. There's plenty of yummy ice cream for the amazing volunteers who work in charity shops. They raise money for good causes. There we are, Paula. Thank you very much for being such a lovely person to the community. Oh, thank you, you enjoy well, that, my love, and there's one there for your colleague as well, yeah? Okay, then. No problem at all. Enjoy. Farmer Andy works really hard down on the farm. It's time he had a break and some yummy ice cream, all topped off with his special strawberries. Nothing puts a smile on people's faces quite like an ice cream gecko. I've loved spreading a bit of joy to Vicky and all of these amazing people. Thanks to Mr. T for making all of his wonderful creations. Have a think if you could do something special to put a smile on someone's face today. I think you can really brighten up somebody's day. I'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye. Hello everyone. I'm here at Truck Fest to meet a really big machine. A monster truck. Whoa! Look at the size of the wheels on that thing. One of my best friends is a monster truck, and he'd really like to meet Big Red over here. Come along, Max. Come and say hello to Big Red. Who do you think is bigger? Max or Big Red? Big Red's only built for taking passengers on a ride on his back. Look how much fun that looks! 
but I'm here to meet a stunt monster truck. A monster truck that crushes and jumps cars. This is Swamp Thing, a huge monster truck that weighs as much as two elephants. Swamp Thing is 14 feet tall. That's almost as tall as a giraffe. Let's take a look at Swamp Thing in action. Three, two, one, go! Wow, just look at those cars getting crushed! The monster truck is so heavy that when it lands on the cars, they are squashed as flat as a pancake. Swamp Thing is a really amazing monster machine. I wonder what it's like to drive a monster truck. This is Swamp Thing's driver, Tony. He's using his tools to perform a safety check on Swamp Thing. He's checking that all the nuts and bolts are tight so that a wheel doesn't fall off in the middle of a show. Tony, what's it like to drive a monster truck? To drive a monster truck, for me, it's the best job in the world. I saw it on TV when I was about eight years old and I never thought I'd be doing it for a living. Um, the feel you get in there, it's so noisy, so bumpy, but the adrenaline keeps you going. How do you get in Swamp Thing? Most people think you climb on the tyres, but I'll show you how you get in. It's fairly simple. Just walk around the side of it. Doors don't open. What you got is a climbing frame, and literally, you just climb up on the inside. And then you're straight in the seat. Okay, how do you drive a monster truck? Literally, we've got one pedal for go, and one pedal for stop. That's the starting and stopping. Now we've got to work out how to steer it. Front wheels is just like a car, turns in a steering wheel. Unlike a normal car, we've got back steering, so this turns on a joystick, left and right on the back. So who's ready to crush some cars? Tony built this monster truck himself, using lots of different parts, from lorries and diggers. He knows it inside out. When Tony takes Swamp Thing around the country, he can't take it on the roads. So the monster machine has to travel in Tony's massive lorry. Swamp Thing has many of the things that a normal car would have, only they're much, much bigger. There's the wheels, the engine, the exhaust, the suspension, which gives Tony a softer landing, the brakes, the chassis, and the cabin. All of these things are designed so that Swamp Thing can jump like this. Well, it's time to say goodbye to Tony and Swamp Thing now. Thanks very much for joining us to learn about this amazing machine. See you again soon. Bye. Hello everyone. I'm here today at Alton Towers Resort. I'm going to have a ride on some amazing roller coasters and learn all about how they work. Roller coasters are designed for one thing, fun. No two are the same. They can do loops, 
twists, spins, and can go really, really fast. But how do these amazing roller coasters work? Let's take a closer look. Roller coasters run on tracks like trains, but there's lots of differences too. Trains only have one set of wheels that rest on top of the track. But these cars have three sets of wheels. One on the top, one on the side, and one underneath to grip the track. This means that the roller coaster can do things that trains can't, like going upside down while still staying on the track. But the main difference between trains and roller coasters is how they are powered. Power is what makes everything start, just like batteries in a toy helps them turn on. A roller coaster car doesn't have an engine for power, so to get the car moving fast along the track, it first needs to be pulled to the top of a very big hill. On this ride called Nemesis, a long chain pulls the car all the way to the top. The car is then released and gravity brings it down the track at whizzing speeds. Gravity is an invisible force that pulls all things down towards the Earth. It's like sliding down a slide. Gravity pulls you downwards. Woohoo! This ride, Oblivion, works in the same way. The chains slowly pull the car up to the top, which makes the people on the ride very nervous. Wow, look how high that is. This ride is a straight drop which means there is only one way down. Scary! Some rides don't get pulled up a big hill, but instead are connected to a really long metal rope. When everyone's ready, it's time for launch. The powerful rope is reeled in and pulls really hard on the car. Ready, steady, go, go, go! The rope has launched the car along the track like a huge slingshot. This ride's called Rita, and it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds. That's as fast as a racing car. When this ride needs to slow down, powerful magnets rise up and use magnetic force to slow down the car. A final set of brakes hold the train in place, bringing the ride to a stop. With all these twists, turns and loops, roller coasters have to be really safe. So all the people who work at Alton Towers work hard to make sure everyone on the ride is secure by loading them onto the ride carefully and checking their seat belts. Clever computers triple check the safety of all passengers too. But roller coasters don't just carry people. At this roller coaster restaurant, it's food and drinks that ride the roller coasters. When the food is ready, they're sent down the track straight to your table. Yum, yum. Well, I think that's quite enough excitement for one day. Thanks to the Alton Towers team for showing us around today. I'll see you next time. Bye!